This is code.org. Let's see what we're doing. Choosing a good name. It's important for images to have good names. One that are easy to understand and use characters that are good for links. For this project's images have some name problems. Do this. For each image, fix the name according to the following rules. Yet you want to avoid weird characters and names, especially because they're interpreted weird by computers. It can break everything. So let's not use the ampersand, question mark, percent, slash, or parentheses. Make sure the name has a specific meaning that helps you know what it is. Use a dash or an underscore. By the way, a dash is next to the number zero and an underscore is shift and the number zero. Keep the names as short as possible, but they need to still have a clear meaning. Choose your favorite image and add it to the web page. Don't forget attribution. Oh, we got to give people credit. All right. That makes sense. So what do we got to do for each image? Fix the name according to the following. Okay. So you might be like, wait, there's, there's no images. What are they? Called? We have to go over here and these are the images, right? And well, that's an HTML file. This is our CSS file amphibian.css, CSS. Um, but let's, whoa. Okay. So we need to give it a good name. Um, I, I don't know. It. Well, that's fancy that they do. Oh, they give you an HTML tag. Code.org has really upgraded their stuff. Anyways. Um, <laughs> All right, so I'm going to click here and click rename, and I'm going to say frog. Super creative. I could give it more info. Frog blue. Sure. Boom. Frog blue. All right, there's one. Now let's go over here. That thing looks gross, and it's freaking me out, but apparently it's called that. So I'm going to do a rename on this guy. Walking fish. That's terrifying. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I don't want to delete the special like dot JPEG. So I'm just going, I'm hitting the delete key, but I'm going to keep the dot JPG. And I guess that's its name. I might even just call it walking fish or really, really gross, gross dot JPG. All right. Fire salamander. And then let's see. Yeah. So this is an explanation point and we don't want that. So I'm going to right click here and click rename. It's a special character that we don't need. I'll just get rid of it. All right, what else we got? Frog. I don't, do they tell space they're fine? Ugh. Oh, instead of spaces, good. Okay, I forgot. Don't use spaces in coding stuff, guys. Just don't. Um, <laughs> thank you, code.org, for saying that. Uh, but da There we are. And then this is super long. It's not going to be helpful if it's this long. Well, wait, I want to see it. Oh, it's a little frog. Oh my gosh. Well, that's really long. I'm just going to do. Eh. Oh, are you? Okay, well, I'm going to do backspace from there. Smallest vertebrae. Sure. I could even go smaller, but well, smaller name. <laughs> All right. Um, I like frog blue that I mine. So what do we got to do? I got to add an image. Does it give us a hint? No, it doesn't. Good. So I'm going to go to the bot to line seven on the HTML file and hit enter. I have a blank line eight. Now on my blank line eight, I need to add that image tag. If you don't remember, of course, you can always go click back here and get access to it. They also have a really good documentation, which is a good time to plug it. So image. Boom. Look, this is a heck of a hint. Um, I might even copy this if I was feeling lazy. Now we don't need to because we know all things. Now back on line eight, I'm going to type in a less than sign IMG space SRC. By the way, that stands for source SRC. I always think screen, so I always put SCR. It's not, it's source. So it has to be SRC equals and then name. Oh, look, and let's be lazy. We can pick from the drop down and it will autofill with quotes for us. I was going to do frog blue. Guys, if you write frog blue, first of all, you should think of a better name. Second of all, you cannot have something unless it is over here as well. So frog blues over there for me and then alt equals a frog that is blue. Not the best alt tag. Maybe I'll just say a blue frog. You get the idea. You just want to explain the image a bit. Go behind this and do a greater than sign. So alt must have quotes around it. Image has to be exact. There's no closing image tag because it doesn't have text. It's wrapped around. Cool. Onward. 